Regicide. Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 33 Regicide gameplay. The map is Haven, and I spawn bottom blue street to begin with, end up turning around on this guy and five shotting him. I think I interrupt a fight right here. I move in for what I thought to be a no shields guy, but I end up getting picked off. So I go top mid. Usually there's like one person top mid. If there isn't, then you can always drop down because there are always people bottom mid. As I said in a previous commentary, especially on Haven, there are people bottom mid. So you can go there and there will be a constant amount of people for you to kill. Um, and top mid, people don't normally go top mid unless the king is top mid. But you'll see that I get probably three-fourths of my kills bottom mid. So it's definitely the place to go on Haven. And you'll see that I just got three, or no, I just got two sword kills. Um, the thing about sword and snipe on this map is that you can pick them up if you stumble upon them, but I really don't recommend picking them up, like going out of your way to pick them up. Although they are power weapons, you have to keep in mind that this is FFA and that there are tons of people around you at all times. So if you do rush in for the sword, you may walk all the way across the map and not even get it. Same goes for the snipe. Or if you pick up the snipe, you're going to be rushed by people, you're going to have close range fights, and you may not be able to hit your shots. So that's not trusty as well. I just usually keep my BR. If I stumble upon snipe or I spawn near it, same with sword, I end up picking it up. But other than that, I really don't use it that much. This jump right here, in order to get over this this wall, you have to jump on the railing. That's an extremely useful jump. You may think it's pretty minute, but it is extremely useful. I use it a lot. Uh, you can use it anytime you play Haven. And there's another jump that I'll show you on Haven that's extremely important to master. And I go for it right here. The reason I didn't get it there was just I didn't look left enough and I tried to crouch. You don't really don't want to crouch when you attempt that jump. So I toss a bad nade right there, but it ends up dropping on the enemy so it works out for me. And then I missed some shots on this Captain Archer guy and he ends up taking me out. I notice he's weak. Try to nade him. Don't really want to focus on him because he dropped bottom mid. But I notice there's action going on. Right there's an example. I could have gone for the snipe, but I don't just because I know that there are people bottom mid and if I wait too long and try to play too passively I'm gonna end up losing losing the lead so I go for the jump right here I end up getting it and it's pretty good because it it can almost guarantee you a kill whenever people are open ramp anywhere over by snipe spawn you can usually kill them from up on uh, that ledge that you jump onto it's extremely convenient I just fell off the map, unfortunately, but that was just because, uh, once again, I wasn't really paying attention to where I was on the ledge. I ended up getting that jump two more times later in the game, so I redeemed myself. So, I end up taking this kid out, and that guy's shooting me across the map. I really shouldn't have challenged that. If I could go back, I wouldn't have challenged that. Anyway, this is an example of when I get sniped. I spawn right by it, there's no one around me, and then as soon as I pick it up, there are three people. I end up taking out one of them, look up top, pick off the weak guy. This guy starts needling me, I wait for him to land, and I headshot him for the triple. You know, I'm kind of anxious for the overkill. Um, try to go for the no-scope, I end up hitting a body shot. And I end up body shotting this guy and finishing him off. The guy rushes me, turn to the side and take him out. And then I go for the no scope. I hit my second one, I rush in for the kill. I take him out. And there's another guy, kind of weak, so I take him out as well. Right there, I tried to go for the snipe, but I had to reload. If I could go back, I probably would have just kept out my BR. I know I said that in my abandoned commentary that everyone likes to keep out their snipe and you should pick out you should pull out your BR um, that's especially applicable on regicide in FFAs when there are tons of people and the the battles are usually close range 
So as we approach the last kill, you notice that I do this jump successfully, finally. And you can jump top mid from there, or you can just jump down like I did. I jumped down, and Honey Badger is right here for the kill. We end up trading, and I ended up winning that one. Just to repeat, that was a CSR 33 Regicide gameplay on Haven. I have many more FFA gameplays to come. A number of Regicide gameplays and a couple of Rumble Pit gameplays. So like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And that is all. See you later.